what? It was so clear. It better be. Yep, that looked good. You already ate one without me? A Reese Big Cup? <laughs> Excuse me, never! Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, Sam. We are just on a filming roll right now. Truly. And uh, we just decided that we can't get enough of each other and we're filming another fourth video of the week. So Four here we videos. are. That's a lot. I'm proud of us. That's a Instead commitment. Instead of going to Sunday service tonight, our usual, well, actually we haven't been in months, but you know, um, our usual Sunday night dream, we decided to be productive. And here we are filming. And this yeah. is the last video of the Eve. If you wanted to see how she did this makeup on me, check out the video on her channel. <laughs> like, subscribe, wow. thumbs up, watch, you know. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah. So we wanted to do a little bit of a fun relaxed video, not like our usual serious content. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to do a little mukbang Q&A. Now, I don't really know the definition of mukbang. I just see people eating food. So we did, decided to get some snacks. This is called Mega Load. Yo, man. I saw this at the gas station, and I was blown away. Look at the variety. I feel like that... Oh, this smells like... Cardiac arrest. Oh my god. That's the one I want. It's filled with caramel. We're splitting them. Okay. You have to try every one. We didn't split that Reese. Yes, you did. They're the same. Look, I saved the one for you. Okay. I couldn't help it. I was driving and it just looks so good. So we asked you guys on Instagram for some questions and we're just going to eat food, our favorite pastime, and answer some of them. Four out of ten. Thank you for all of your questions. What? It's bad? It's not bad. Oh, I'm so sad. It's not as like nuanced as I would have thought. See what I mean? I could stand to have more texture and flavor going on. Oh, see, you have the, the stringy caramel and I'm all yours. Mm -hmm. The key to my heart. Easy woman, man. Easy to please, baby. First question, I'm just gonna get out of the way. Someone asked what our pet peeves are about each other. I'm not ready to have my feelings hurt. And at first I was like, oh, I have no pet peeves about Sam. Nothing bothers me. She's great. That's the and then I answer. thought of one. And this is only because I'm an incredibly sensitive human. I actually think I've told you this before. Oh. It's how bluntly she ends a phone call or a FaceTime. Really? Yes. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm I'm a long goodbyer, and I know there's probably two types of people. And I'll be like, See, oh, I feel bye. like you're a short goodbyer. No, okay, go, here's go, go, the go, thing. Go here's on, the thing. On. I had to train myself to accept the fact that Sam is like, you'll literally be full conversation, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, bye, and clicks end. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh. Is she mad at me? Did I do something wrong? I don't know yeah. what to do. And that was just something that was so, so odd. And now I'm getting used to it. Now I'm like, today, I was like, bye. And I clicked bye and I did it. And I was like, I am sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I seem to hurt a lot of people's feelings over the phone. Hi, <laughs> Matt. Oh. Matt really loves making, like, <laughs> cameos. Mm -hmm. Are you going to bed? Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. I like you, Matt. You're all right. Oh, good night. What a nice exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Take that four out of ten back. No, I'm, I'm keeping it four out of ten. Yo, look at the caramel in this thing. Can you see? Oh. Mm. I would not put an affiliate link for that. <laughs> um, but Jamie Page always used to get her feelings hurt because I'm not very good with like phones in general. And Jamie would like text me all the time. And um, I wouldn't respond. Because, not because I'm like being an asshole, but like just like I'll usually see someone's text and like forget about it or like whatever. Or you just think, my, my biggest thing with the text is I look at it, I acknowledge it in my head, I think, oh, this is what I'd answer. Yeah. And then something else will happen and I just completely forget about it exactly. and I'll go back to it three days later and I'm like, well, it's too late to answer but that. <laughs> she would always, like when we first became friends, she would always think that I was mad because yeah. I wasn't responding to her text and I was like, just, it's not good. Okay. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay. So it's not necessarily a pet peeve. I guess it's just something I had to get used to. Blunt on phones. Fair enough. I, don't know. I was wondering the other day, I was talking to our other friend, Christy, and I was like, I wonder what, I'm acting like nobody would know who Christy is. But I know. Probably <laughs> <laughs> um, Christy on YouTube. <laughs> I was talking to Christy and I was like, I wonder what people's like complaints about me are. <laughs> and I was trying to like come up with what I thought. She's like, nothing. I'm perfect. <laughs> but I thought, I thought people might call me like a know-it-all. Cause sometimes like someone will say something and I'm like, Let's delve deeper. And then, like, I, like, tell them how I See, think that they should solve it. but that's not a know-it-all. A know-it-all is someone who's just like, oh, I know everything. I would I, I align a know-it-all with a one-upper. You're like, I have these facts. Let me tell you everything that I know. But it's true. Okay. You don't... No, you're not a know-it-all. I wouldn't stress. Thank you. Don't stress about that. And I know you have no pet peeves about me because... Perfect. In your words, I'm a delight. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? You have nothing? Mm. 
I feel like I'm pretty annoying. <laughs> you know what? One friend said to me one time, I was talking to a friend of mine about another friend that was kind of like talking down to me about like flaws of mine. And I was saying that like, just like this friend had really hurt my feelings. Cause like, I obviously know that people have like issues with me sometimes, but that it was just really hurtful. Cause she was like talking down to me about it. Mm -hmm. My friend, my other friend got so mad and she was like, you know, like what's a flaw to some is like what somebody cherishes the most about you, mm -hmm. like somebody else. And so like, since then I've tried really hard to like look at people and like, even if there's things about someone that bothers me or that I might see as something that I wouldn't do or whatever, I try to like always remember that like that's what makes that person who they are. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it's something that bothers me about them initially, I try to understand like where that behavior comes from so that I actually come to admire it because I know that it like came from something in your past. It's funny because when I first met you, I didn't think you were sensitive at all. And then as yeah. I got to know you more, I found- I'm a weeping a little bit. <laughs> not, not, not even weeping, but sometimes like, I don't know if angry is the right word, but reactive maybe. Yeah. Um, like you can be a really reactive person. And I, I always was like, oh, that's, that's different. Like I, I always just thought yeah. it was like, sometimes the certain things that you'd react to, I'd be like, oh, I didn't see that coming. I remember you saying to me once, she's like, I always thought you were such a chill person. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh God. But no. like, it's just the more that I learn about you and like, you growing up and like just like different parts of your life and stuff like that it's like I can come to realize why you react the way that you do to different scenarios yeah. and so then it's something that like no longer is like something Surprising that I'm like, oh. to you. yeah like yeah. Uh, it's be it's like something that I've we'll discuss further in a future life with <laughs> Sam video yeah, <laughs> good question how did we meet where did we answer this because we did answer it already didn't we where when I can't remember or did we was it a periscope Maybe. Oh well, God, whatever. We'll answer again for the kids new to the block. My initial meeting of Sam. <laughs> Our initial meeting. It's super embarrassing on my part because uh, I had just, I hadn't even moved back to Vancouver yet. Mm -hmm. I had actually come to visit before moving back to Vancouver. I still lived in Calgary. We had a little Nordstrom brunch. We were, okay, first of all. It was we like were, a PR brunch. Yeah. And we were supposed to show up to this thing. We were getting our makeup done first and then going to this brunch. <laughs> and we were supposed to show up with no makeup. They said, don't wear any makeup. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll show up with no makeup. This bitch comes in with like full face, freaking lashes on. And I, I was like, oh, I remember I, said to, I remember I said to my managers, I was like, I'll go to the brunch, but I'm not coming with no makeup on. Because yeah. like, I just don't like... I'm like a fun ruiner. Like I just, anytime they're like, we're going to do your makeup. I'm like, no, I yeah, don't want no. my makeup done. Please like, don't. I'm, don't I'm just like, I don't yeah. want to sit there and like have my makeup done and have people be taking pictures of me while you guys are doing my makeup for your little PR thing. Like, I'm like, I want to come and eat the food and I want to leave. <laughs> so that's what I did. Show me the product. So anyway, I was disgusting and naked face and I went up to her and I was like, Hi, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly and that was it and she was just like oh, nice to meet you I, I, I don't remember though like <laughs> you being like particularly fangirly like it wasn't no. like you were like <gasps> no know. but that was just I remember that's just the thing I said to you I was like hi I'm a big fan <laughs> I'm like great oh god yeah it was really embarrassing but that's how we met so look at that and here we are yep good and then we started hanging out more later because we, like we didn't talk for, at all, really. Like, no. Yeah, we had gone for tacos like a couple times, actually, I think, before oh, then. But it was literally like we'd, we'd go get tacos and then we'd be like, bye. Like, it was just yeah. Like, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like we had deep conversations over those tacos. Yeah, we did. It's good. I think that's the nice thing I like about Sam is you delve deep. We always go deep in the conversations. It's never just surface level, which is nice. I like my conversations to feel like turmoil. <laughs> Like, except look, when I hit her with turmoil, she wasn't expecting it. I like, I like people she to got feel, thrown, thrown amok. I like it. I like people to feel exhausted by my conversations. <laughs> <laughs> like they're like, Jesus, like that was like a therapy session. I have great sleeps after hanging out with Sam. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you wish you knew how to do? Calculus. No. Surfboarding. No. Can it be like fantasy? Yeah. Teleport. Okay, well that's like your favorite superpower. I said can be fantasy okay, and you said yeah. yeah. Okay, give me superpower With and, no give, hesitation. Me, and give me non-superpower. Okay. So superpower, superpower teleportation. teleportation, yes. Um, and like real life skill set. Hmm. What do I wish I could do? Parkour. Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! Ooh! Yeah. Hardcore parkour. Ah, ah. Parkour! Hardcore parkour, particularly, yeah. yeah. Okay, well my superpower would be flying. Although I think we did discuss that teleportation would have its advantages. I think I just like the feeling of flying. 
I don't know. Can we do apparating? Because in Harry Potter, that's kind of a mixture of both. Because sometimes you see them flying through the clouds, and then sometimes they're just... I think flying would only be cool if your body went super limp. Because I think it would just be funny to see someone flying. <laughs> just like... <laughs> <laughs> that would be like the only way that I would think that was appropriate. <laughs> Skill sets? Um, I truly... Like, one or the other. I think I'd be happy with either. More happy if I could speak and understand and write in every single language. Oh, yeah. That would be a good one, yeah. Because it frustrates Wait, me too so much... Parkour. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Learn every language, parkour. <laughs> I'm rethinking it's, it's my choice. It's a need. Okay. Or, okay, musical instruments. Because that always makes me really sad when I see people just like plugging away at the piano and I'm like, oh, what a skill. Oh, what surprised you the most about the other? Oh, God, I want to think about this one. Okay, okay. What surprised me about you? I would think, okay, so what surprised me the most? I have this right, right up to my head. Like I was saying before, I did not take Alana as being like even moderately sensitive, like just because I don't know, like just when you, I feel like I'm such a cool girl and you well, meet me. <laughs> when, when I first meet you, you're just really like unbothered. Like, like you could be like, "Do you want to go for like sushi?" And she'd be like, "Yeah, just whatever." Yeah. Like she's like totally fine with everything, doesn't care, like down for whatever kind of thing. Um, and then I remember one day, this was when she was still like quite a bit closer with Jamie and I didn't know her as well yet, but she had come over to my house and, um, I don't know what I'm talking about you in the third person. Yeah. You had come over to my house yeah. and, um, you were asking me like advice about a relationship and I was like, not her current relationship. And I was like, I was, Oh God, I, I remember so, that. I was so surprised cause I was like, Oh, like I like just didn't think that she'd be the kind of person to be like, yeah, I'm like having like boy problems, blah, blah, blah. Like I thought she'd be the kind of person to be like, yeah, like, fuck this guy, like, kind of thing. Oh, like, but that was a weird, I mean, you know, that was yeah. a weird time. I was, like, hit by a truck by this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a weird, it was a weird set of emotions. But I think it's also very different scenarios. Like, when it comes to normal day things, I have road rage. But, we, you know, we could <laughs> make like, a list of that. But, like, stuff like deciding where to eat or what to do. I'm like, yeah, sure, sweet, whatever. But I, I think it's just because, like, you had such a... Like, because a lot of people who are more emotional are, like, more kind of, like, controlling over general situations. Yeah. And so I felt, like, just really surprised. Like, I was, like, oh, I'm surprised that she's, like, asking me for, like, advice and, like, like feeling kind of, like, upset. Like, it was just, it was, yeah, that surprised me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that's my answer. Yeah. Okay, a recent thing, I mean, I we just discussed this for the first time, like, last week, but what I was really surprised to learn about Sam is that she's insecure in her artistry and creativity. Oh. I find that crazy because to me like Sam is such an artistic person and she is constantly doing like so many cool things like she's someone I always looked at as a true makeup artist. Stay out of there Kuma she's got her nose. Oh she Cheetos. wants those hot Cheetos like mother like Don't daughter. <laughs> but yeah I was really surprised that you were insecure about that. I, that's something I thought you would have been very confident in and yeah. definitely in the way you present yourself. I think I was always I well I was always insecure about my artistry because like when I grew up I would paint on like canvases, like before I was into makeup and stuff like that, I would paint on canvases and I would finish a painting and I would immediately paint the canvas white. Oh my God. And start over. Like I wouldn't like really show anyone. I wouldn't really do anything. I would just paint it over immediately and paint something again kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I never felt like, I never like displayed my art or anything like that. Um, but I've also had people kind of like shit on me for that too. Like I remember this one girl that I used to be closer with. Ugh. She had said that like she was... She was like, well, you're like a business person. You're not an artist. Oh my God. And I was like, I'm both. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's, I think it's something that like a lot of creative nope. people tend to feel is that they feel mm -hmm. like they're not creative because they admire other creatives that they tend to view as more creative than them, I guess. I but even yesterday, I think it just goes to show someone who's truly artistic. Like you just sat there yesterday and that eye you drew, or I don't know if you're drawing a full oh, face oh, or whatever, oh, oh, but oh. like. It was nice. so incredible. And you were just sitting there like, oh, this is just my doodle. I'm like, um, okay, <laughs> Mona Lisa. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that thanks. surprised me. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh my God. I just thought of another thing that surprised me and I just noticed it now. What? I had no idea this entire time, also the recent discovery, that you wore contacts. You just discovered it now? No, no, no. The last time I commented on it, when you were oh, taking it right. out and I was like, oh my God, you wear contacts. That surprised me. Jaw dropping surprise. Kuma, <gasps> you can't eat that. I'm no blind. Yeah, they're thick. thick. But I never would have noticed them. There you have it. Yep. Show us your best trick. What's your best trick? 
don't have any. Alright. Huh. Uh, do I have a trick? Oh, I can do the clover with my tongue. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's <laughs> an okay trick. Yep. Oh, I'll stick to my day job. Thanks. Um, I can whistle with my fingers. Really? Yeah. That's a trick. I want to see. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want to see that. I thought, it's okay, loud. can I just tell you that when you said whistle with my fingers... You thought I meant like this? I thought you meant like no 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 I thought you meant like you make a whistle sound with your fingers no and I just can't really get wow that's not real that was beautiful thank you you can hail a ticket cab oh I can hail a friggin cab there's probably five lined up in my house right now <laughs> what are your favorite things to do together food yeah we like to eat escape rooms yeah escape rooms are the most fun you can have as an adult TM it's Sam. it's been so good we're on such a roll. It's been great. Escape rooms are exhilarating. I feel really dumb a lot of the time, and especially with what we do, I feel like I don't exercise my brain ever. And doing escape rooms was a really nice way. I was like, I'm having so much fun, and it's also, I my brain is dying. Mental like, gymnastics. It's just so nice. It's so nice to be doing something that you enjoy so much, and I'm like, oh my god, I love learning. I'm learning. It really, it really gets you thinking outside the box, but I will say, it does make my general life feel very lackluster. Because, like, I look at things and I want to, like, decode shit. And I'm like, there's nothing to decode. This is just yeah. a GST tax. By the way, honey Dijon chips with hell of a good dip makes a hell of a good combination. <laughs> oh, someone asked, will Alana be in the bridal party for Sam's wedding? And she was like, will I? I'm not having a bridal party. Oh, you are. No, I'm not. It's going to be me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not doing a bridal party because we're going to do a really small wedding. Um, it's going to be like around 30 people total. Um, so if we were to do a bridal party and like groomsmen and stuff, it would literally be like half the wedding would be standing up with us. And like my mom and dad would be in the crowd being like, good job, honey. <laughs> Get married. Do that marriage. <laughs> Did you know that you're featured on a show on Netflix? Are you? Ugh, yes. What is it? Joel McHale. Who's that? Apparently some guy who likes to make fun of sweet innocent people and my fears. Why? What did he do? It's like a really popular show because so many people, like hundreds of people have messaged me about it and I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, I'm on a YouTube or a Netflix show. Like, this is great. How do you have to get your consent? I, I don't know. Okay, go on. So this motherfucker <laughs> dug back to a pretty old video. It's like a, over a year old. And, um... I was talking about my fear of death. Like, I was, like, having a serious, like, talk. And he talk. made fun of you? Yeah, so he was like, I'm afraid of chains in water. Oh. He didn't mention my th fear. Okay. There's tens of us. Okay, but here's the thing. He lines it up, like, he's like, okay, so what are, like, the YouTubers teaching the young kids these days? And he, like, some people see some really stupid things, and then there's a clip of me being like, I have a really deep fear of death. And then, like, goes on to the next clip, and he's, like, making fun of me, saying I'm, like, teaching kids stupid things. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's so mean. I was so sad. Screw you, kid. Joel McHale. If we could take a free vacation anywhere together, describe it. And she said, love you. Oh, I love you, too. Rach. Rach. <laughs> Ryan? Well, at this point, because it's somewhere you want to go back, and I haven't been, I feel like a free Bora, vacation Bora. to... Oh, Japan. <gasps> Japan! But Bora Bora too, because we were discussing that trip okay. already. So you want to go to Japan? Bora Bora, Vegas, or Japan. I feel like any of them we'd take with open arms. Or, I'd also like to go to Fiji. For the water. Uh, and um, See, Sam's the one who's more picky in particular with travel. So it's kind of like, she'd have to decide where she's willing to go. Am I picky? Yes. Why? You're the one who says no to all the travel. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. That's <laughs> um, uh, well, because I just don't, like, I don't, I don't love brand trips. I, I, okay, that's, I feel like with our own travel, it would be more fun if we were taking the time. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I take it back. That's why I say no to a lot of travel is because I don't like going on brand trips. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I don't mind them, but mm -hmm. a lot of the times I'm like, it depends on the not. brands, it depends the setup. And the guest list. And... <laughs> What shows are you currently watching? Ozark. And that's the only <laughs> show that you should be watching. <laughs> it's so good. It's so fucking good. It's so intense. And I feel like Jason Bateman. Camping's Bateman, intense. He is an underrated actor. Camping's intense. What's that? I haven't said that in so long on my channel. 
whenever I would say, or whenever anyone would say, that's intense, I would respond with, camping's intense. And is that a Jason Bateman quote? No, it's just a quote oh. of mine. Oh, okay. Camping's in tense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tense. Mm-hmm. No, you get it. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're just not laughing. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, I'll go fuck myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What part of Sam's wedding are you most excited for having the most fun planning? Well, there's no bridal party. Oh, well, the food. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I know that she's going to have the best food. I think truly overall, though, <laughs> I just know that you'll make it an enjoyable, relaxing experience for everyone. That's the plan. And you'll probably try... Okay, this is what I'm excited for. If it happens. Mm. I think that you will have such an unexpected surge of emotion and it'll be such a romantic moment that we've never witnessed publicly between you and Matt and I think oh, that I, I will break down and sob witnessing that. I hope I don't let you down. <laughs> I know that my dad's gonna cry. Oh my god, that'll make me cry alone. That would make me cry alone. I, I want to have a taco truck. <laughs> oh. That's oh. what I'm most excited for. Because I want to have Hawksworth dinner. So my favorite restaurant downtown is Hawksworth. It's like very fancy. Taco oh. truck reception. And they cater. So I want to do that, but then for like later in the evening, once everyone's blitzed, except for me because I don't drink, <laughs> um, once everyone else is blitzed, I'm going to have beep beep taco truck roll up. Oh, love you guys, because you have to have the midnight snack. So good. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's going to be taco fino. Probably. Oh. Yeah. Oh, would either of us go back to brunette anytime soon? I have nightmares about it. No. I toy with it every once in a while, and then I remember that I hate myself. <laughs> I just feel, like, not as beautiful. I feel like I have to wear more makeup. I feel less confident when I'm not wearing makeup. When I'm blonde, I'm like... The thing with blonde hair is just because of the texture and the dimension, like, the different shades that are in your hair, it mm -hmm. makes your hair appear more thick and voluptuous and lovely. When I have brown hair, it's, like, one solid color. I know that you can have highlights and lowlights and change it up, whatever. But I just feel like I have to work so much harder to make my hair look good when yeah. it's brown. And I think if you have more thick hair and long hair, long or short, whatever. But I think if you have really thick hair, brown is so beautiful and it, it looks is. so rich. But because my hair is really thin, it's it just, kinda just greasy hangs. and stuck to your head. Yeah, the it's blonde, not... like you can kind of just make it look more alive. I agree. So, no. Blonde is the light for us. <laughs> I want to go lighter though. Yeah? Yeah. Platinum? Bring back the silver. Are you getting any more dogs? No, Jesus, no. Two dogs is too many. Oh, the Kuma. Oh, she's so sweet. Kuma. She's such a snuggle bug. She's so sweet. For a lanky, like, really energetic, vibrant dog, she is so snuggly. She is a snuggle girl. Oh, I mean, what a question. What's your favorite thing about Sam? Where do is we she begin? she as dope as she seems? Oh, am I? The dopiest. Oh. Dope, doper than you would imagine. My favorite thing about you, I tell you every day, is how wise you are. Mm, thank you. How well spoken you are. With everything you do, have a fully developed reason and thought for doing it. Oh yeah, that's true. Like I think that you just never half-ass anything, and you're always like, oh, explain this, and you're like, well, <laughs> here's my novel about why I'm doing what I'm doing. I am very thought out. Like I feel like if if anyone was ever like, why did you do that? Like if they were mad at me, you'd be like, this is why. I'd be like, point A. And I'd like give them like a full on. Yeah. I think you're very thoughtful and that you're very um inclusive. Like hmm. you really um like honestly the reason that Alana and I became so close, that's another question I saw a lot of people asking, is like oh, how do we hmm. become so close? It's literally like because of Alana, because she would just call me and be like, What are you doing? And I, I thought she would just like make a conversation, I'd just be like, Oh, I'm just like doing this and she'd be like, Well like come downtown. I'm like on like this patio and like we're just like having food and I'd be like Okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, early. And the but like, yeah. but like, but like you, you always would call me just like randomly, and like it wasn't even like we were super close. Well, at I one think point. I think what was easy is that like how we became closer is that we just we don't plan ahead. It's like oh. what are you doing right now, yeah. and can you hang? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's nice. Like you would call me, do want to go eat dinner? I'm like yes, yes I do. Do you want to go do this? Yes, and we'd go, and I think that's nice, like, obviously with what we do, that gives us more flexibility to do that, but I think it that was an easy... It's the best part of the job, to be quite frank. I blame her loud music, blasting Eminem for my deafness right now. I said, do you like loud music? I know, but your loud is loud. 
Oh, oh I knew yeah. that was gonna happen, and I wasn't even playing it as loud as I like to play no, it. I was trying to make a joke. When it didn't I'm, work. Oh. When I'm, I was like, "Do you like loud music in the car?" And she was like, "I like my ears to bleed." And I was like, "Okay." So I put it to like, <laughs> I put it to like half as loud as I would normally put it, and I could kind of tell because she was like. Just like her, her stance. In no, the I was intensely listening to Eminem's words. Okay. I was trying to hear what you're saying. Here's but, the thing. But Here's I was like, I feel like she doesn't listen to music this loud, and I was not even listening as loud as I normally do. But it's because my loud and my little pansy ass car is not your loud. When you were like, when you turned that up, I was like, oh, 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 I am next to a giant speaker <laughs> in a club. Okay. <laughs> I like. I it was like, unexpected. I didn't know a car could be that loud. I actually like. I, I give myself immediate headaches, but I, I work through it so that I can listen to the music as loud as possible. I just like loud music. But in fairness, I've literally grown up my whole life with like music constantly playing. Like my parents are playing music at all times. Like oh, it's never so nice. quiet. It's that's never so nice. quiet. And that's why it's so weird when we film YouTube videos. I'm like, you know, it's so eerily quiet. Oh my God. It is weird. I play music all day long. That's something I never really talk about that I like music as much as I do. Well, you yeah. just did. And I was surprised that you did a full chatty video with music playing in your ear. Oh, it was like the softest, gentlest music, though. I'll, play, oh, okay. I'll like show you what it was. Hold on. Oh, literally raindrops. <laughs> yeah. So wow. it's, it's like really easy to like. <laughs> but it's like my favorite music for any time. Like I love it for cleaning. I love it for doing makeup. You listen art. to this while you're cleaning? Yeah. Wow. Because it really relaxes me. Wow. I love this guy. He has such an interesting life. His name was given to him. His parents were like... Oh, there's words. Yeah. See, I thought it was just that instrument. I was like, wow, this is truly peaceful. But his, his voice is really relaxing. This is what I'd fall asleep to. Yeah, same. It's for any So activity. cleaning, because I hate it so much, I have to have like blasting things to keep me like motivated to keep mopping. Uh, I can listen to anything. But this guy has a really weird life because his parents are part of this like very small religious sect and the guy that created that religion actually gave him his first name. Isn't that weird? What's the name? Sufyan. Oh. My yeah. future child name. Sufyan. Thank you. Sufyan. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's why I could talk while that music was playing though because it's so like... It's like a, a whisper. So yeah. You like to eat the chippy. What's the best part of having a common career path? I think we already discussed that. Yeah. Schedules. 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 It's just like, with other friends, it's really hard because like, you have to be like, hey, like, what are you doing next week? And they're like, well, I work till 6.30 and then I get home and like, I have to like, make dinner and then I have to like, go to the bank and do that. Like, it's like, they can't, they, they have like, one hour of the week that they mm -hmm. can hang out kind of thing. Whereas like, it's nice because like, I can wake up on a Tuesday and be like, oh, I'm not doing anything. Alana, do you want to hang out? Easy. And we can all bitch about the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this is, uh, I feel like you'll have a well-rounded answer for this. Okay. What's the bis? Mm -mm. This is bis. Okay. I kind of choked on my sour crush kids. I gotta stop okay. eating. What's the biggest misconception about being a YouTuber? Truly, where do I begin? <laughs> um, I think I think the biggest misconception is that I don't even know that I would call it a misconception, but I think that people view it as being very different from what it is because from the outside looking in, it looks like a very simplistic job that would be very easy mm -hmm. um, and something that requires very little like thought and uh, effort and stuff like that, and it's not necessarily not true because like there are like honestly I find working retail to be a much more taxing job physically because like you're dealing yeah, we're with not doing manual labor yeah you're dealing with bosses you're dealing with manual labor you're like cleaning like dealing with shitty clients and stuff like that but I think that people don't recognize enough how mentally taxing social media is and mm -hmm. even if you do recognize it I think that you cannot fully understand just how taxing it is because like what I was talking to my therapist about like social media and stuff like that and how much it like exhausts me um and I was just saying that like it's really hard because sometimes people um conceive you or like perceive you as being like different than you are but you can't even stand up for yourself or yeah. like are and even if that, you like, do I'm, argue it you're an asshole well and that's the thing is that like you can't so it's basically like imagine someone first of all this is the first thing this is gonna be a long answer this is the first thing when people don't like you online, for the most part, it's not like they're like, 
I don't really like this person. I'm gonna unfollow them. It's like, I don't like this person. So I'm going to contact all the brands that they work with. I'm gonna contact their managers. I'm gonna try and ruin their career. I'm gonna watch their subs fall, like shit like that. Like it's like people want to see you fail, destroyed. And so it's hard because like you're dealing with people that for some reason are so viciously and angrily attacking you, but also you can't defend yourself. You can't say, no, that's not who I am or whatever, because like people don't, they will not accept that. Like you just have to be comfortable basically with people attacking you and constantly and, and portraying you as something that you're not and spreading falsities about you. Um, having something to say about everything that you do, like the weirdest, smallest little things, like someone has comments about that. It's just like really like, like, cause there's things that obviously like people know to avoid talking about or saying about, like a lot of people won't talk about politics or, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like hot topics that they know will be controversial, but there's things that like you, there's like no way on this planet that you would ever think that anyone would ever comment on it. It would never come into your mind. Like our sweaters today. And then someone has something to say about it. Like, and, and it's just things like that where over time it becomes so exhausting because you just feel so worn down. And the thing that's really, really shitty is that people look at it as like, oh, poor you, poor you. But it's like, if any other person was dealing with this, they would be miserable. <laughs> and that's the thing. I think the biggest misconception is that everyone looks at what we do and they're like, oh my God, I want that life. You're yeah. so lucky. I want this. I want this. And it's like, at this particular moment, would I trade what I'm doing for anything else? Probably not. But do I think that everyone can do it? Absolutely not. I don't think that many people can handle the kind of mental strain that it is. I just, that's something I never expected, especially when you kind of started YouTube as a hobby. Yeah. I just never expected feeling as like miserable and depressed that I do on the daily. And that's obviously something like, obviously I think I'd like to talk about it more, but the problem is, is we've discussed whether or not we should talk about it in a video. And it's like, it's one of those things where you'll talk about it and people will still shit on you. People will I've just assume that we're being whiny, complaining things and like, oh, you're so ungrateful. And it's like, again, it's something that you could never understand until you're in that position. There's a lot of misconceptions. Yeah. <laughs> Should we end it on that sweet, sad note? Sure. <laughs> Do it. Oh, blessings on blessings on blessings. Sam made me wear lashes. She didn't make me. I willingly allowed it. But oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for the Q&A on this fine day. Thank you so much to everyone who asked the questions. I hope that this was endearing and entertaining for you all. And if there's any more topics that you would... Oh, like cool Sam. <laughs> I'm so used to marrow hairs. Now I have kuma. If there's any more topics that you would like Sam to bestow her wisdom on, uh, let us <laughs> Don't know. Don't oversell me. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more videos planned coming up. Secrets. <laughs> Stay tuned for the future, but uh, yeah, that's today's video. Go to Sam's channel, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for being here. Man. Hey, thanks to and, you. And um, sorry for all of that. It wasn't really a mukbang. I guess when you do a mukbang, you show the food, huh? No, yeah, we you were just pretty, saw it going in my mouth. We were just kind of like a gentle nibble here and there. Oh no, no, no! See, so you were gentle nibbling. I was shoving. All right. Anyway, okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>